So today it's very much Champions League as our first priority. But in a unbelievable phase, we are actually also challenging for Serie A title. Let's roll the intro and I'll show you what's been going on. In the heart of Northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. So let's start with the transfers. Um, Amari Hutchinson does leave at the end of the season. That was a kind of already a thing. We're currently trying to get rid of Tossi as well. Um, he's not very happy at the moment, so he's going. Richards has got out on loan, and we have sold Marty. He was particularly good, but he was 32, so he's getting on. Um, and I wanted to just grab while I could because we have bought in two players. Um, unfortunately, Ortega can't quite be registered just yet. But first of all, we have three star current ability, four and a half star a potential ability striker. Uh, he is Spanish. He came from Villarreal for 15.75 million. Um, he can play on the right, but I'm probably going to have him as our backup striker slash striker. We did need somebody that realistically is a forward player. Um, he's not got great heading, so I'm probably going to be working on that. In fact, we will do that here. Uh, aerial. So we'll do that there. Like I say, he is currently working on being that that striker. Um, also an inside forward on the left, I was potentially going to use him as. So I'm going to train him as the inside forward at this minute in time. Um, but he probably will be a bit of both. And next we have Ortega, 770 five thousand he's 18 he's from paraguay he's already got three goals in eight caps he's a solid striker the holy trinity's good again heading not great but he's six two so we can probably work on that he's both footed really strong on his left foot fairly strong on the right with physicals looking good already I think he really could become a decent striker. Two and a half star current ability, four star potential ability. Obviously, his his abilities are very, very much advanced forwards. Anything else isn't probably going to do it. But, like I say, we got him from Olympia in Paraguay, where he's been scoring bags of goals really happy with that one so what's been going on then we've been playing some amazing football you were last with me on the Lecker game we went on to beat Napoli 2-1 with Demir and Rodriguez on the score sheet a good draw against Athletic Bilbao 1-0 with Herberti getting the goal. We then beat Atlanta 2-1. Rene and De um, Demir on the score sheet. Beat Genoa 2-0. Demir getting a brace. Undanese was 2-0 with Fiala and Herberti. We then beat San Saulo 3-0 with Herberti, Demir and Fiala. It took extra time, but we did manage to beat Inter... 2-1 in the Super Coppa Italia before losing in the final to Napoli 2-1. We 
we then faced Sinisalo again, but this time in the cup, which we won 3 1. Curto Demir and Fagioli. And most recently, AC Regina, we absolutely stuffed and beat them 5 0 with Curto, Costa getting a brace, Demir and Bross on the score sheet. Leads us today for Paris Saint Germain. Lazio aren't doing much this season, so we're going to skip them and also have the game against Milan, who are currently top of the table on goal difference. We are pushing way up there. Um, we do need another win in the Champions League. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain may not be the team to do it, but oops, the team we have going for today is Adora in goal, Hochmeister, Rafael, Rennie and Klein at the back, Curto and Rodriguez in midfield with Ramon, Ramon Maldini, Falistar and Costa up top. Let's hope for a victory. Um, may not happen, but we will see. Kick off. Skip. Let's go, boys and girls. It's going to be a tough game. Although, you know, they've still got Kylian Mbappe in this world. He never left um, like he is going to this summer. He's going to Real Madrid. I think everyone knows that this summer. But, um, yeah, he never left in this world. He obviously re-signed during the first season and has stayed on. But can we beat Mbappe's boys? I doubt it. But here's Vitana. Plays it through. And Mayuni... And it's gone out for a goal kick. Harvey Elliott's here. Mayuni, Mbappe, Barsola, Trubin, Hakimi, Mendes. But they do look beatable. I've got to be honest. They've got some amazing players. But I still think they're beatable. Hence, we're going after them. And that was just poor, poor, poor ball. Harvey Elliott plays it back. Uh, Garata and Bappe. We don't want to let him get on to shooting, but he does. And it comes off the outside of the post and goes out for a goal kick. Here we are. We need a victory, at least one out of these two, and Turbin gathers as comfortable as you like. I mean, two draws may be enough to get us into that top eight, but we realistically need a victory to even stand a chance. And we can't afford, really, to lose. So that's the key behind this. If we get a victory, then maybe... We can look to scoring. Here's Mbappe, and it's in the back of the net. His 16th goal of the season. Superb play from Paris Saint-Germain. Klein plays it in towards Costa's head. Couldn't quite get it off, and Mbappe's picked it up, and he's got space in front of him. Can we nick it off him? He plays it back. And Vitar has put it in 2-0 to PSG. Not really the result I'm looking for. Come on, boys. Oh, Maldini needs to come off at halftime, I sense. We're going to thrash arms. I'm going to tell them they're not doing good enough because I do feel that we are good enough to win this game. Um, 
Costa's coming off for Herberty, who's... I'll tell you what, actually, Herberty's going to go into up front. Um, Klein's coming off for Diaz. We've got the... I don't know why. Um, we'll leave it there for now. It's not really what we've been looking for, though. I'm going to go attacking. It probably will come back to bite me. But we're not... You know, yeah, they've had more possession, but we've had as many shots as them. We've played as well as they have we you know should probably be getting a draw but unfortunately Vitina and Mbappe have other ideas and they've just been more clinical we're going to make some more changes now um, I'm probably I uh, can't really Rodriguez has got to come off. Fagioli can come on. Mark. Kev can come on there. Diaz, has he picked up a... He's got a... Oh, can't bring him off. Okay. Let's go. I'm surprised that I probably shouldn't have brought Diaz on by the looks of it. Although I didn't notice that he was struggling before I brought him on. Ruffle, Fagioli, Ruffle, Renner, Ruffy, Hochmeister, Ramon, Hochmeister. Come on, boys. That's it. Out wide, out wide. That's it. Diaz, don't. Come in, you had all the space out wide. You oh, you should have done better, Yusef. Okay, we are tired now. Unfortunately, I think that's got to be offside. He looked half a mile offside. Linesman's not flagged. It is disallowed, though. I was going to say, it looked so far offside, it was unreal. But this puts us all the way down and means that we're probably going to be in the playoffs. But within our first Champions League, that's not the end of the world, is it? And Fagioli grabs one with... Five minutes to go. I'm going to go very attacking now. We're going to try and grab a winner. It's unlikely, but... We are going to try. And in trying, I'm going to throw... Falistar and Ramon both up there as advanced forwards. We are going to... Uh, get rid of that. Go more direct. Let's go. Let's try and get this victory. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but we have got a highlight. With two minutes to go, can we do it? We played some miraculous comebacks in the Europa League last season. Can we do the same in the Champions League this season when it looks like we're beaten? And unfortunately, this game we are. So I'm going to play the Lazio game offline and I'll be back with you for Milan in the next one. So we beat Lazio 4-1, but unfortunately Milan then beat Genoa 4-1 the following day. So, yeah. Today, though, we face Milan in the Champions League. We need to win. Um, pure and simple, we're at home. 
And the team to do it is Adora with Kurt Adreni, Kirby Assi and Diaz at the back. Milenkovic and Fagioli in midfield with Costa, Yusuf, Erbati behind Falistar up top. We need a win. Um, I think that's the only way we're going to progress into the... Well, I have a chance of progressing into the top eight. I think it's still unlikely. I think we need results to go incredibly our way. But if we, unfortunately, though, it's one of those. If we do win, I think we knock AC out. So it's catch 22 as far as qualification in the future because we're knocking out one of our Italian teams. And Erbati has put the ball in the back of the net. Was it on so offside? The referee's blown his whistle, apparently. Consulting with VAR. It's awarded. Get in. Happy days. Yes. Now, what do we do? We're going to keep going. It's only three minutes in. This game has probably got a lot more goals yet. Wow, that went out for a throw somehow. We've got the throw in right in our corner. And we've been unable to get out and we've given it away sloppily. Great challenge there. Oh, Leo's just absolutely bent one in the top corner for Milan. Wow. Wow. That was insane. It, it's looking unlikely, though, that we will would qualify as Inter winning as well. So it would take a lot for us to finish in the top eight and automatically through. I think we're going to be in this knockout phase in the sort of playoffs here's diaz oh. oh just over the crossbar by Curto. but it'd be nice to show milan even milan drawing isn't going to be enough and Bayern munich all the way down there as well wow they've clearly struggled there are teams that we could potentially beat in this group of Playoff teams just over the crossbar. I think we've had a good outing regardless of what happens in the between now and the time we're probably knocked out of the Champions League. I think for the first time in it, we have shown that the Europa champions can fight. Here's Erbati! It's offside! Oh, the linesman was flagging. It's offside. Not good. Okay. Come on, boys. Keep going. Push on. Push, push, push. Oh, he's missed it. Adora making a big mistake there. He doesn't often make. He came out to grab and did miss. We've got a corner. This is end-to-end -end stuff. There's two Italian teams are fighting to stay in the Champions League. And it's all oh, Kirby Assi nearly scoring. Milenkovic, Fagioli, Adora, Renai, Kurto, Milenkovic, Costa, Milenkovic, Fagioli tries to play it through but missed kicks it really and Leo's got the ball and it's played back to Ansu Fati who puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 2-1. What does that do? 
doesn't really help them. Come on, boys. As things stand, all that does is push us down, but we are still within Champions League qualification to the playoff phase. Here's Herberty. What can he do? Herberty cuts inside, and that one's going to count. Herberty makes it a Desmond. Woo hoo! And it gives us a bit of breathing space. Again, hope you know that puts us up. Bayern Munich are currently scraping in as they're beating Newcastle 1 0. Who are Newcastle? Where in Newcastle? Oh, Newcastle in the top eight. And Bayern Munich are beating them, which means that they are going through as well as things stand, but. If one goal pushes them right back out of it, if Newcastle can get that equaliser. But we are looking for a winner here with Herberty. Cuts inside. Costa. Costa! Yes, that's it. That's 3-2. And boys and girls, we are now going to probably go back, I suspect, to the... Um, Rodriguez is coming on uh, and we're going to change things up at the back give us some fresh legs and we've got one more uh, Yusuf Demir for Ramon and Ramon and Costa can swap over. There we go. We've gone, made our changes going a bit more defensive. Let's see if we can hold on. Oh, great. It's a kickoff highlight. Oh, dear. Come on, just nick it. Nick it. That's it. Keepers. Keepers. What are you doing? Get rid. Just. Thank you. Diaz. Go on, Diaz. Go on, son. Run. Herberty. Can he get a ball in? Plays it back to Fagioli. Diaz. Milenkovic tries to slot it through. Unable to. And now, here come Athletic Atletico. Here come Madrid. Uh, Madrid? Milan. I'm all kinds of confused. Yes. I wanted to do that ages ago. Instructions, time wasting on for the last five minutes. Come on, four minutes of time added on. Yes, we've done it. We have qualified Ooh, for the playoffs. And boys and girls, that is where we end things for today. We've got a nice 2.4 million pound there. We've received money left, right and centre and we are now in the playoffs. So tomorrow, join me for the Champions League knockout playoff round. But if you've enjoyed that, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've been the Masked Manager. Until next time, I have spoken.